Welcome to this film, which will help you understand pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension means a high blood pressure within the arteries that run from the heart to the lungs. In pulmonary hypertension, the heart has a hard time getting blood through those arteries in the lungs, and as a result, the heart can be placed under strain and over time can become weak. Symptoms include shortness of breath, tiredness, feeling faint or dizzy, chest pain, a racing heartbeat, or leg and ankle swelling. In a healthy person, blood travels through the pulmonary arteries from the right-hand side of the heart, picking up oxygen when it reaches the lungs. That oxygen-rich blood from the lungs returns to the left-hand side of the heart and is pumped around the body to the muscles where oxygen is needed. During exercise, the demand for oxygen increases, so the heart beats quicker and the pulmonary arteries usually widen to let more blood flow through to the lungs. However, if you have pulmonary hypertension, the walls of your pulmonary arteries are thick and stiff, making it difficult for them to expand to allow more blood through. In some cases, pulmonary arteries may be blocked by blood clots, which can also hinder blood flow. That reduced blood flow makes it difficult for the right-hand side of your heart to pump blood through the arteries. As a result, this part of the heart has to work harder and may gradually weaken and can eventually fail. In the UK, around 7,000 people have pulmonary hypertension. It tends to affect women more commonly than men and can affect people at any age. Pulmonary hypertension can occur for different reasons. High blood pressure in the lung arteries can be due to an underlying lung disease, such as emphysema, or underlying disease of the left side of the heart, such as heart failure. It can also be a more pure form of the disease, with high blood pressure in the lung arteries due to disease of those arteries themselves. The treatment and the outlook vary depending on the cause of the pulmonary hypertension, so we'll discuss with you what pertains to your case. Okay, so tell me about the breathlessness that caused you to see your doctor originally. Okay, so a few months ago it started, I... Correctly diagnosing pulmonary hypertension can sometimes take time because the symptoms can be similar to other, less serious forms of heart and lung disease. This is why we need to do various tests to establish whether there are blood clots in the lung and whether there is any underlying heart, lung or rheumatic condition. Keep going, keep when going. pulmonary hypertension occurs due to disease in the lung arteries themselves... Go slightly on your side there for me. This is a serious condition, and without treatment, it is often progressive and can be life-shortening. The good news is that over the last 10 to 15 years, as a result of clinical research, there have been major advances in the treatment of pulmonary hypertension. We now have several effective treatments which can be given in a simple tablet form. In order to monitor for side effects, some of these tablets do require that you have a monthly blood test and we will make arrangements with you to ensure that this is close to your home. We're actively involved in clinical trials, so whenever we can, we'll offer you the very latest treatment. So that we can see you nearer your home, the Royal Free has a network of shared care centres serving the south of England, including Bath, Plymouth, Portsmouth, Brighton and Margate. We'll do everything we can to help you with your condition, offering you the best care, advice and support. If you have any questions, please do get in touch with us on our advice line. <laughs>